Next one is from Dean. Hey, Dean. Um, having a challenge getting a functionality quest in Autodesk. Uh, so they are currently using MasterCAD Timberfile in CAD work. I'm not familiar with that program, uh, but it's, it's for building. Uh, so Dean sent a image. What he's trying to do, whoops, I just closed the folder down, is this cross section for a, a building, what is kind of cool. Now, um, Dean, I should say, I want to say up front, it's important to know, and I've said this in other <laughs> in all of these videos, that Fusion is based on mechanical CAD, not per se building things. I mean, you can't do it, but there's other programs that might be better. Like something that comes to mind for me is like Autodesk Revit, for example, uh, that is probably more for this, but what you're trying to do inside of Fusion, um, I don't think is completely impossible. Um, there's a couple of different ways we can work with this. So let's, uh, let's take a look at this. So I'm gonna try to just model something up quick here. Let's do something. And I'm not gonna fully find, find this. I am gonna build a building. Um, so let's uh, do something like find the midpoint of this, maybe draw a line up to there. Okay, and I'm gonna draw this. <laughs> this is gonna get not gonna get pretty, but that's okay. Let's make these two lines equal. Actually, let's make them also not equal. Let's make them parallel. They're not going to be equal. That's not the way I designed them. Um, and let's then use that construction line to mirror this, this, this over there. Okay. Let's hit Q and hit press pull. What do you think of my house? No comments. <laughs> All right, so you got a couple of different options, Dean. So what I'm assuming that you're trying to do um, within Fusion is to 3D model up your buildings. Um, so you have all kinds of really cool details in there. It looks like there's some shingles on the roof and all these all these different things. Then trying to do a, uh, a cross section. Now you have a couple of different options in here. Now, first of all, I want to show you that you can, of course, um, if you right click on one of the bodies, you can actually apply, uh, you know, colors to it. So we go in here, maybe do a paint, glossy paint, and do something like we could make the roof green, like that. Um, you can also select faces. So we could actually go in here and say that we want this face to be blue and this face to be blue. So you could you could break it down into different colors. Um, whatever whatever you kind of want now you could choose to say I want to do my section inside of um, inside of the, the 3d modeling environment if you wanted to show that in here um, and you could do that we almost did that already early in the video with a with a piping uh, scheme but I mean we could go in here and create an offset plane um, you know cut that through there and then we could do like you know split body and uh, we could split the bodies with that with that plane and then delete the bodies that we don't want to keep uh, out of here and make kind of like a section like that. Uh, but what I'm when I'm looking at your, your drawing, we are looking at getting some notation in there. And that is probably where the 2D drawing environment starts becoming useful. So let's just um, let's just save this one. So uh, I'm, you're going to have to save it. So I'm going to hit save and let's save it as Dean uh, outside wall. Like that's we're going to save it first and let's go into the 2D drawing environment and say from design and we're just going to select everything, hit OK. And now it's going to open up in a 2D drawing format, right? Um, it's just going to take a second here. I'll get a sip of my coffee. Happy Father's Day to everybody who's watching this on a Sunday. 
Um, and of course, you got to set your drawing templates and all. We, there's videos on that. But you will see here that one way to do this is just to go in. And uh, if I just place this view like this, you might say that that is exactly uh, what you want. Um, now, if I just hit OK, it would actually turn just white and black because 2D drawings primarily looks like that. But if I double click on the view again, the menu comes up. You can actually just turn the shading on right here and it will bring in the shading from, from Fusion. Now, this though is not really what you want because you want a section view. Very clearly, this is a, an out wall cross section view. Uh, that's what this says. So instead, I'm going to go in and do a, 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 a projected view from this. And when I do that projected view, so that's kind of the side view. See, that's the 3D view. Um, the side view here, so now we're looking at the side, you can use this as your tool. So there's a section view here. I click on that. You select where you want a section. So I'm just going to select somewhere on your wall here. Hit enter. And now I get, I get that as the section. So this is actually looking through as if you were standing at the end and you cut right through here and you looked at this. So this is actually what the section looks like. And when I hit OK, you will see that uh, we get what we call hatching in here. Uh, and this is very common to, uh, to, uh, to, to CAD drawings that there's hatching in there. I don't know if you had hatching. You didn't have any hatching on yours in here. What you can actually do inside of Fusion, and this is probably another trick, if you go and you, you select the hatch, double click on the hatch, uh, on there you actually get a menu where you can select a different ANSI standard for that hatching. <laughs> what is pretty cool, and you can even you can scale it up if you want to. You can do different uh, you can do different angles and things like that. So know that you when you do this, you can get the hatching in there and you can control that. Same for the other. But if I double click on this, we get the other hatching in there, and we can get different hatches and control those. Now, so this is probably what you're looking for um, in here. What you can do is and you can do the hatching i just did a i literally did a, a section straight through here um if we just delete that you can actually also do select this view we could have drawn down and come over and down like this and hit enter and now the section view you see is actually cut as you're looking down that section so this can be pretty pretty crazy but the reason you want to do this in this view, Dean, is that you, of course, in here have the option to set leaders. So now you can go ahead here and you can place a leader and you can call this outside wall. And you now have um, you have this this section view. All right. So um, I have done if you search. So if we go to you uh, go to um, so it's YouTube, Fusion 360, and maybe live stream. See what we got. If we do that, uh, oh, we're actually are getting uh, some of, look at all these different live streams by the Fusion team. This is awesome. Uh, those guys are awesome. Uh, let's just go into Fusion instead, or into YouTube instead. There is uh, Brad doing is if we go up here and we search uh, live, let's search Lars Live instead of Lars Live, Lars, whatever. That's another Lars Live. Lars Live Fusion. There's got to be some way to find my. <laughs> All right, we go to uh, my YouTube channel. You hopefully have another way to find it. Did you see my new banner I made? Um, if you go in here and you go to playlist and you go to. Um, the, the 198 live streams I did, click on this one a little up here, and you will get the entire list in here. If you scroll, make sure that all of them get loaded. So just scroll all the way down till you see 198. Now, if you do a, if you do a, a control uh, F, then you get the find section right here. And if you type in drawing, you can spell drawing 
you will now see that there is three different um, 2D drawing environments in here. So you can go in and look at those if you want to get more into um, more into um, to the depth of how to do this. I hope this was useful, Dean. Um, fun little uh, fun little example.